All right, I'm going to do a quick video on how to do something that I screwed up yesterday when installing this Killer Instinct flash drive. I'm going to show you how to replace a um, EEPROM chip, which are these chips that are on the boards. Um, there's a certain way they go in and a certain way they do not go in. And obviously, I put it in the wrong way. If you look at the chip um, right here, I don't know if you can see it, but right on this edge right here, there's like a little half moon or a notch. Best way to describe it looks like a little notch. And... Um, those line up with other notches in the boards. Like for example, here's an MK2 board. And if you look at, um, I don't know how I can describe it, right here, let's see if we can back up a little so I can show you. Right here is the notch. And right here in the board, there's like a little half moon actually on the board. I don't know if you can physically see it or not, but you can kind of see the description of the, the moon right there. And on the board right here, there's a little moon. Those need to be lined up. Um, I guess I installed it incorrectly. I thought I did on that uh, Killer Instinct. Also, to remove it, a EEPROM, just kind of use a flathead Phillips screwdriver like this, a small one, and you just kind of work it out like this, little by little, and you kind of just pull it out nice and easily as best you can, and you can see all the little feet right there. And then to put it back in, you just do exactly the same thing. Kind of straighten some of these feet out a little bit, and you just kind of line them up like so. So I can do this with looking at it. Just like that. You can see and you just kind of push it down. You'll hear it pop in. So my mistake is your gain. Um, actually the guy that I bought this from, he's just going to send me another chip instead of paying 12 bucks for it. But um, that's what happened with this flash drive install. This worked, but I guess I put this in backwards. So um, there's a little error on my part, I guess, that uh, you guys can learn from. That's how to install and remove an EEPROM chip.